So in this Power World video, I'm going to be showing you an insane game-breaking trick or glitch. I don't really know what to call this. All I know is it just makes everything way easier. And you can do this at level 1 to max level. As you can see, I managed to capture Jet Ragon by using this method. And I managed to capture Frostallion by using this method. This will work with literally any type of pal that you're trying to get. It'll make it way easier for you. In this video, I'll go ahead and play out footage over me using this method to capture Jet Ragon, since that's one of the most sought out higher level pal that a lot of players try to capture. And a lot of players fail capturing it. Keep in mind, you can once again use this method though with any pal. Pretty much, I should say. You can't use this against the tower boss trainers though. So yeah, let's get into this. To start this off, in case you don't know where Jet Ragon is located at, he's located way up here on the map, around in the volcanic environment. And well, when you get over here, the first thing you're going to want to do is place a base somewhere. And you want to place the base as close as you can possibly place it to Jet Ragon. So just find him, and then just pull out the PAL box and back it up until you're able to place the base somewhere. You can literally do this anywhere as long as you have a free base. I feel like I've been using bases wrong this whole time. I could have been capturing higher level pals by using this trick or glitch, whatever. And if you don't know how to move your base, one of the ways is just by pulling out the build menu. And then at the bottom of the wheel, it'll state what button you have to press to enter into disassembly mode. And then once in disassembly mode, you can just disassemble the base manually by disassembling the PAL box here. Once you do that, you can place another base somewhere else. But in the future, you actually get multiple bases, so I don't really have to get rid of my main base. But if you're, but if you're low level, that is one way that you can take away the base that you have. Another way is just by scrolling over it on the map and pressing the button that it states to dismantle the base. That's another way, so yeah. But anyways, yeah, so once you've got your base moved to the new destination that's nearby whatever pal you're trying to capture, you now just want to spawn in a bunch of pals at your base. So you have to simply get them around in this vicinity. Keep in mind the blue radius for your base when you do place it, it is pretty massive. So you got a lot of working room here to get the pal to come over to you so all the pals start attacking this is just absolutely insane once again i feel like i've been using bases all wrong after i started doing this it just makes everything so much easier to catch and defeat all i gotta do is just attack the pal i'm trying to lead toward my base and it'll start coming after me make sure you also don't have a pal out just so it's easier to lead it all the way back to your base so you don't have to worry about it getting distracted on your pal and staying back and once you do lead it back to your base, all those pals that are around are going to start teaming up against the pal that you're trying to capture. So yeah, it makes this fight with Jet Ragon so much easier. It makes everything so much easier. As you know, the lower you get the pal, the easier it is to catch. You have a higher capture percentage because, you know, it's worn out and beat up and tired. So you're able to capture it easier. And to top it off, when we die, Jet Ragon doesn't reset its health. It'll stay the same amount of health it's at because we're gonna be able to spawn right here and my pals at my base will still be fighting it. So it never gets a chance to refresh its health. It's freaking awesome. So dying doesn't even matter when you're doing this glitch as well. I don't think the developers intended on us using bases like this because this literally makes the game so much easier. So much easier. And it's so simple too. I have a feeling maybe in the future the developers may nerf this where we're not able to place our base super close to other pals. Actually, I don't know. That's going to be pretty hard because there's a lot of good base spots that are kind of close to pals. Or maybe you have to clear out that vicinity before you can place your base. Maybe that's how they'll nerf it in the future. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this will ever be nerfed, but hopefully not because this makes things, once again, so much easier. It has genuinely helped me a lot, so hopefully it's able to help you guys out too. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd share this with you all because, once again, this genuinely helped me. And if it helped you or you found this enjoyable, consider leaving a like on this video. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let this footage play out over me capturing Jet Ragon with this method. It does take a little while just because Jet Ragon is pretty tough. It's one of the toughest pals you can try to get in the game. And also, I don't really have a lot of pals that can do a lot of damage to it over time. But they do stay alive up against it so that's all I really need and if they do die I just go back to my pal box put them in my pal box 
and then I get out some more to fight. You'll also see me get taken out during this footage too and be able to and be able to respawn back here without Jet Rag and resetting its health. So yeah, it does take me a little while, but at least we know that this method is possible. And you could literally catch uh, high level pals at a low level too. Just combine a bunch of your low levels to capture something that's stronger. And then once you catch something that's stronger, that'll help boost you to even higher level, easier, because you'll have a high level pal at your side. This is a quick way to level up. This is also a quick way to just capture a bunch of different pals because you're able to weaken them to get them really low to capture them. You can always get rid of uh, the pals that are at your base too if you're afraid of it dying. Or you can just quickly disassemble the base. Keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm out of here. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Till next time, guys. Peace. Enjoy this footage. Yeah.